Hey, good morning everybody. Lawrence Michael, Operations Manager for Air Quality Remediation. Uh, just making an update video. Uh, this is day one of a new basement mold remediation project. Um, as you guys know that watch all of our social media pages, um, are familiar with uh, our company in general, probably 60% of what we do is mold remediation. We cover all types of indoor air quality issues though, but like I said, 60% is mold, so a lot of these videos you're gonna see are mold remediation projects. That's just the nature of our business at this time. Um, if that changes in the future, we'll change with it, but right now, mold is the big thing. Um, so anyway, we're starting a new basement mold remediation project. Um, here in the basement, we have our HEPA 1500 air scrubber running. Now pop quiz, is this a negative air machine or is it just an air scrubber? We'll play some, uh, some uh, TV game show music. Nah, it's just an air scrubber. So because it's not ducted out the window, it's not creating negative air pressure. It's just filtering the air that's in the space. So right now, this is just an air scrubber. But if we go into the other side of the basement here and we have our containment door up as always and we have another containment door set up which is blocking off the finished side of the basement from the unfinished side of the basement so over here again pop quiz is this blue HEPA 500 is this a negative air machine or is this an air scrubber nah it's a negative air machine it's creating negative air pressure through this lay flat, ducked it out the window, so that's taking the air that's inside the space, still filtering it out just like an air scrubber, but it's actually ducting it out the window, which is pumping air outside. Then you have to have, it's called makeup air from the rest of the house coming down, and from outside too, uh, coming down into the basement area, so that way we're creating that negative air pressure. It's filtering spores, particles, fragments, whatever the contaminant is out of the basement area. Um, so we have our containment door set up. We have our negative air pressure established. We haven't touched anything with the basement yet. Um, you can't do any type of remediation or restoration until you do those two things. Until you build your containment and until you set up negative air pressure. That's the standard for eliminating cross-contamination. There is no other way. It has to be a containment. It has to be negative air pressure before you touch anything. So that's why I'm not in PP yet. Um, I just wanted to make sure that the containment got built and the negative air pressure got established, walk the guys through what they have going on, and then they'll get suited up in their full uh, Tyvek suit, their full face respirator, Kevlar gloves, nitro gloves, the whole nine yards uh, before they actually start to do any of the remediation. So without taking anything off, without disturbing anything, this insulation here, and it might be kind of hard because of the glare of the window, so all this insulation here has to come down. We can see, uh, maybe hard for you guys to see, but these uh, wood joists and wood studs are all gonna have to be treated because they're contaminated with mold growth. As well as up here on this drywall, you can see. And then, here on the concrete foundation walls, we see some mold growth as well. So that's kind of all throughout the basement. Um, so again, without touching anything, we first set up our containment, set up negative air pressure. Now the guys will all get suited up in their PPE. They'll pull down all the insulation and start treating all the mold affected areas. So that's wire brushing, HEPA vacuuming with a HEPA vacuum wiping everything down with an antimicrobial solution, which is also an EPA's approved disinfectant, and then they'll encapsulate everything, all the affected surfaces, with an antimicrobial sealer. Um, this sealer prevents new mold growth from occurring, as well as having antimicrobial properties to, uh, again, eliminate future mold growth concerns. Um, after that's done, the entire basement gets decontaminated. Um, every item, every surface gets HEPA vacuumed and sanitized with that antimicrobial solution. So I'll let the guys get to it. I'm off to my next job. If anybody has any uh, indoor air quality concerns, any questions, comments, definitely uh, comment down below. Check us out on all of our other social media platforms. Check us out on our website. We're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If anybody has any issues, 
I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you on the next video.